All right, I'm going to see if I can sweep this filter out on the output of this thing. And so what I've done is I, uh, I have a uh, Nano and um, I've calibrated it with uh, the cables that I'm going to use so that it's calibrated at the end. And uh, I have one uh, cable connected to, the, uh, to this side of the filter. And then I'll uh, use the other side here to inject a signal onto a trace here. So let me show, is that zoom in? Yeah. So right here, there's a capacitor. So the, the um, uh, amplifier is, is uh, capacitively coupled into the final section here. And I have a piece of um, a connector, an SMA connector with just some wires on it. So I can go in and I can put the ground so there's ground everywhere. You can see all the stitching. It's just stitched everywhere. So I can put the ground on one of the one of the grounds, and then I can touch the center conductor onto the trace, and I can see uh, the filter shape over here. So sorry, I'm getting all kinds of reflections here. So. Uh, so there's some bumps here that I think are just resonance in the cable length, so I'm not worried about those. And here's the cut, and the cut's here up around 590 megahertz. So this thing's supposed to go up to 512 megahertz, something like that. So they want to have, they want to have this thing, this uh, point here, dead at one gigahertz at least. So there's 740. So it's it's at the very very bottom there, at 740 megahertz. But it's passing all the low frequency stuff. So um, so I think at 440, uh, let's see here, so if I can, uh, let's see, that's 480, 4, 410, well, there's 400 megahertz, so, uh, we should be okay, should be okay. I'm going to try to do this measurement, sorry about all the camera work here, um, I'm going to try to do this measurement one other way, and, um, that will be to inject a signal with a generator and look at the output with the spectrum analyzer. So I'm going to do that. Let me try to give you one good picture of the sweep here before I uh, try to get a camera angle that's better. All right, I think you'll be able to see that without any, uh, without any reflections. Make sure there's no reflections. Okay, so I'm going to uh, inject the signal now with my handy probe here. And uh, there we go. So like I said, I think these are just resonances in the cable. You see how they're spaced. Um, and then this marker here is around 610, oops, 610 megahertz. Ah. There we go. So I think everything here is passing. But I want to do this measurement one other way. I want to inject a signal and measure it with a spectrum analyzer. So uh, since I got the equipment, might as well use it. All right, I'm going to use this little... Uh, sweep generator. Sorry the dryer's on in the background there, making some noise. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use the sweep generator and uh, I'm going to inject the signal. So I have it sweeping between 35 megahertz and uh, 1000 megahertz. And we'll go up here to the uh, spectrum analyzer frequency, start frequency 35 megahertz. Stop frequency, one gigahertz. Okay, so we're sweeping the same. Let me uh, see if I can inject a, inject a signal here. And there we go, with all of its harmonics. But let me turn on the uh, max hold. And we will see what kind of, what kind of picture builds up. Well, interestingly, it's giving us the same picture that the uh, that the nano gave. Those those dips there are real. Well, that's too bad. I have it stepping every uh, five every five megahertz, so it takes a while for it to fill in. Um, but yeah, those dips are real. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's put a marker on them then. Uh, this dip is at uh, 450. 
and this dip here is at 215. So if we used it on 440, 440 is right there. So we just are squeaking it out. It still might be okay. Uh, might be a little bit of attenuation. We might be able to um, maybe bend some of those coils or change a capacitor. Um, or it might just be might just be fine. See what's the two meter band? Two meter goes from 440 to 448. Is that right? If I remember right. So 448. Uh, 448 is kind of down in the trench there. Yikes. Yeah. So we're definitely gonna have to do something about that if we want to use this on 440. Um, Where's my uh, frequency chart? All right, here's my trusty frequency chart. Uh, uh, 440 goes between 420 and 450. 420 and 450. I didn't remember that. Hmm. Okay, 420 and 450. Well, let's see here. 420. There's 420. It's up there. So if we could do if we could do 420, <laughs> and then 450. I think is right at the very very bottom there. Yeah, 450 is right at the very very bottom. So we go from great on the low side of the band to really really bad on the high side of the band. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to fiddle with the design there, and uh, but at least we could try it on 420. Uh, and see if we can't get it to operate. Okay, let's give this a try here. Let's do a sweep from, let's see. We're gonna do a sweep from 420 to 450. Okay. 420 to 450. All right. And let's see if, uh, so we'll do a frequency, start frequency of 420 megahertz and a stop of 450 megahertz. All right. And let me inject the signal. Okay, and now I'll do peak hold. Oh, that yeah, looks fine. Looks fine. So it must just be a measurement thing. Let me change the uh, step frequency to something ridiculously low. It'll take a long time for it to sleep, but it'll fill it all in. There we go, filling it all in. So, looks as though we're gonna have maybe a uh, 10 dB roll off. Um, not great, but we certainly can use it in this range here. Let's see, so 436, 4, 440, yeah, so down in here, down in here it works, up here not so much, but we'll give it a try, let's see if we can output uh, 50 watts at least, that'd be cool. 